Hello, I am Gopal Lahiri. I am a poet from Kolkata. My first poem titled Kolkata. Only once through a local train's window, I watch all those silent streets open up for a conversation. Walking in the rain, I follow the silvery tram lines and mark its route charts. A city with weather-bitten face do not allow following geography, dropping petals on the courtyard of the houses. Trees laden with orange fruits never reach the overgrown shadow. Rickshaw pullers drink tea on the earthen cups. The setting sun descends on the calm water of Hooghly. I take your hands in mine. The river bank buries our whispers. A word appears on the signboard, speaking directly to the crowd. I stitch seven striking letters in your soft palm, Kolkata. The next poem title is Vacuum. The red way stretches from curb to curb. Smoke spile on the narrow lanes. Simul tree on the sidewalk shines in the April afternoon. The shadow on the roadside cafe. Lattice walk is covered in a dusting of white dust in the late evening. Crows now see the receding blue of the sky, pure white of the high clouds. Mansions ask the silent weed to blow away the shanties. Let us not fight over the nail polish color. Light comes within door of the city clinic, mulling the head count in street lamps flare. In search of rubber sleepers, the daily laborers exchanging drooping eyelids and crooked smile. Brick walls are plastered with dung cakes. A grass lake park resembles city's endless vacuum. Next poem is Mahanadi, the holy river flowing through Orissa, the eastern state of India. Mahanadi, there is very little we can bring in the conversation. The river that divorces us, that makes you look back, sits across the shoreline, carries sediments of footprints touching holy feet. Now the sun floating in the vacuum. The sky turns from amethyst to pale auburn, hesitant, fleeting, even illusory. Riverbeds are strewn with debris and creek plants. The painted boards acquire a thin yet sharp and curved line, steady up and down in low currents and finally melt in downstream. Each one of us stands before the flickering flame. From these shades of grey and grey in the end, the booming lamps light the dark. Unknown birds begin to climb as if hand over hand over the top of the clouds, which is what there is and also is the blackness of space. The time leaves through, all of us there, none of us there. There is a Mahanadi inside all of us. Next poem is Mother's Courage. Mothers will bring in voices from the womb. We assemble, light candles and pray to God. It's a very lonely walk. It's a very dangerous walk. Make sure others don't suffer any longer. We believe we have the courage in us. Emerge in the front line, unique in our own space, in our own setting. We know about suffering, aging and death over the centuries. Stand now almost at outside of time. We want to extract life from loss and pain. Bring into our new reality, new love. Old Maxim turned to tallest flame. Mothers can never be trampled, be living toy anymore. Underneath, I want to tell my stories. Don't try to kill me by piling on the shame. I want to remove the stigma. It is there all around me. I'll not absorb it anymore. I can't be defined by it and with 
incontinence when shame and also silence win out you think you are gone and buried but no not any more it's time to get vocal and say i don't have to put up with this that there is a real person underneath my broken body a real normal distraught fatigued fed up tired yet loving woman underneath she just needs a break she wants to come out of her shell now it's a poem of nostalgia homecoming not so sure about the greenery that flick past the shops of all colors the mud pots the com road still remembers the white courtier strewn with leaves and flowers the steep stairs without the railings and the curved lamp near the wooden door the windows shut the heaps of snail shells filling up everything around is so hollow so tranquil somewhere a voice drips in and the silence slips away like a silk cloak stand still on the garden and the witness creeps up the outhouse draped in dense foliage flowers in rainbow colors rest on the tiles the shadows lurk under the mango tree and freeze in a world full of hope and despair the pace of time has swept all that into the past the marble floor is bathing in sunlight the aroma of flowers wafts in a time to bury the past a time to get on with life next poem is title is discourse tonight the air plucks the stories we sit in silence shadows falling the darkness coming in fast searching for the stolen light which is dark blue let no love poem accommodates the moon it will fall down without knowing how secret things confide and they prevail then they reveal themselves at the parapet this has been an autumn of bitters the scattered stars close their petals nobody listens anymore to those old melodies they drunk with our tetetes the moment of truth comes well after the dawn without anybody's knowledge seeking silence words are weaving words kind and harsh some are opening new rifts some are found resting at the border some pinch into our skin some are pure darkness our words our lies our needless aggressions are drunk with faith and credence angry feathers fly taking senses with it unperformed melodies touch missing notes each cry gathers momentum each tall motion birds tweet whistles uncensored sand wash wind weeps in painless words not a sound only peace is crowning glory dreams are now cupped in folded palms a human voice is non verbal in meditation all these are knitting together into a single poem next poem title mother's history here the woman take on mother's history the caress of a finger a faint touch the idea of a shelter the silent ecstasy in the womb a city square recalls the bliss of a love affair speaking through the iron wall the old bus stop is now a blank page in the book returning the tobacco scent the library window reminding the forsaken lover corridors are full of stories a tiny bird is flying over tram lines and the story continues crossing bridges floating in a haze swallow everything the shadows of its trees bring memories bleeding in grief the graffiti on the long winding fence inventing the self divine mass mothers now soak in the unspoken tear drops next poem is displaced i have slowly rebuilt my cells here i multiply every day image and store inside the scars are numberless and invisible seeming to ignore the pain of isolation 
Next to my bed, the dull curtains listen to the wind. The soil sheets, crushed cigarettes and ashes, never know how time passes, how memory holds. If only I can piece together the light beams, eyes don't count the teardrops anymore. Dark birds fly over the electric post. Years are shifting through the narrow lens. All my fingers still lie on the pulse of the days, searching the roots in silence. I always imagine I am here by accident. Long back, the title is Long Back, still searching the drop of ink, the council boards on the drawing room, on the tabletop, a layer of dust, or was it a frozen memory? Still life on the wall, faces of abandoned children, the brown wall was full of echoes, as if the wave surging against the cliff. Light has gone, dreamless night lied when washing over the ages of soul and eyes. The sharp hiss of the wind has decimated the sleep. How we waited for days, months, the flower in the vase bled only color. How every struggle was a futile attempt. Searching between the cracks, the hidden world drop, broken into anecdotes and stories. Those docile lights were buried long back. Thank you. Well, hello there. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video on our Brown Critic channel. We'd really appreciate and really love it if you watched all our other videos and liked them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Stay well, take care of yourself and until the next time, bye for now.